Hello guys, welcome to the 18th session of using Microsoft Board Framework, Lewis and Cognitive Services Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will learn how to publish your board in Skype. I have already opened channel tab. Here is a list of additional channels that supported by Azure Board Services and Board Framework. To create a board in Skype, we need to click on Skype icon. Click on Save. Agree to Terms of Service. Click on Cancel to return channels list. Click on Skype. Here it will prompt to add this board to contact. Click on Add. I am using Skype desktop version. Here is a board. Let us send Hi and complete example. Here we have got proper output with markdown syntax. Let us see more settings for Skype integration. First is web control. Click on get embed code. From here we can generate a button. When the user clicks on it, it will bring up a pop-up window. Let us select board and paste Microsoft app ID here. Copy embed code. And I am pasting it in the HTML page that we have created in last session. And open this page in the browser. Click on the icon that came on the bottom right side. From here, the user can directly start to chat with both. Next is messaging. We can also disable message receiving for our boot or just disable media cards only. I don't think the disabling message is important because we have to create a conversational board. Next is calling. Skype also supports calling functionality. However, it was disabled by default. After enabling calling, we need to give endpoint for calling. Grouping allows user to add our board in other groups. By default, it was disabled. When board will add to group, it will respond when it receives sent directly to it by prefixing with at the rate boot name. Till now, output is not published on Skype. We have just added it to our contact. No one can find this boot in boot directory. If you want to add your boot to the listing, then you need to publish boot. For this, we need to fill this form display name, description, category, language, country etc and click on review button for submit here i don't want to submit right now we can also remove channel if we don't require anymore let us see what we have learned in this session first of all we saw how to enable skype integration then we have added it to contact and taste it within skype the last one is an example of embedded skype after this, we saw some settings of Skype integration, which includes settings for enabling messages, call, groups, etc., and publishing of both. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.